What's up guys, uh, welcome back to another video, uh, thank you to everyone for all those responses, most of them were good, well quite a lot of them were good, uh, uh, so today I'll be making some Roblox uh, VFX or just visual effects as requested since the last video, so I'll be walking you through how to make, vo how to make pretty basic uh, VFX but in a different style to normal VFX. Because a lot, you know, of VFX normally is quite boring and bland. And we don't like boring and bland VFX. It's pretty average. But, you know, there's not much on the internet, so I hope this really helps anyone who needs it. Anyway, let's get into it. So first as usual, I'm going to get rid of everything in our scene. By hiding everything with A and pressing X. Shift A to import a circle. What we want to do is use S to scale down the circle. What we are going to do is just use uh, E and Z to move it up and then move it along the X axis. Size it down a bit. Move it up along the Z axis. And then move it up again. And then scale it up. What we can also do is get our tools out, highlight the both the sides, and just oh, oops, just, no, never mind. You have to do them individually. Control B, I remember now. Control B to and use a scroll bar to you know mess around with it. Remember, you gotta have a decent amount, but not too decent. Sorry, I'm just fiddling around with it at this point. Remember, you gotta keep in mind those. Uh, triangle counts. Right, so this is our basically our, our shape, our tornado that we're looking for. I'm going to shade smooth this, and I'm also going to add a vertex group. Basically, a vertex group is a group marking all the vertices of a shape. So you can see these little uh, circles, that's a vertice. So we're going to make a vertex weight edit. So this is basically marking our vertices. Uh, put our group there. You can call the group whatever you want. Just want to quickly just call a group for this. Change it to custom curve and move the graph inwards like that. All right, so it's like a it's more negative than it is a, of a positive graph. Gonna add a mask texture. A mask is just a mask for like you're using Photoshop or Substance Painter. It covers a layer and add clouds. Oh, actually for this one. What we can do, I don't like, a lot of people normally just use one thing. It's kind of boring. So I'm going to use marble because it's more of like a tornado -y effect. <coughs> so what we want to do now is add a mask. As you can see, we can't see it. That's because we haven't assigned our group to our vertices. So we want to highlight everything, click assign, and now magically it's here. All right. Mark our group, and can you see how it disappears like that? You can see how it's very square and it's very ugly. That's because it hasn't got many vertices or many spaces to work with. So what I want to do is I just want to loop cut that. Change the inside of it a little bit. There you go. Highlight everything and subdivide it. It depends how much you want to subdivide it. But I'm just going to subdivide it once or twice. Uh, yeah. So you get more room to mess around with it. But it's kind of look pixely and we don't want that because that looks really trash. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to smooth and smoothen it out. Smoothen our object out. See it's nice and smooth. Looks good. Like, well this doesn't look that good so far but it's going to look better. Going to close all that. We're going to add ourselves simple deform. So we're going to be deforming our object. Uh, okay. Um, we're just going to spin it around like that. See, it makes like the tornado -y effect. Okay. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to shift D to duplicate. 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 Sorry, English skills today are really bad. Size that up. And make a more solid mask. See, this is going to be our core of our tornado. We're going to add a texture change that to emission and I'm gonna set it for like a let's make a blue tornado 
set to render view so you can see all this stuff. Uh, that should be all right. Well, I'm also gonna just I'm just gonna make it so this is more tight towards the shape. See, it wraps around that shape like so. Gonna add a texture emission. So it's emitting a color. I'm just gonna make this color a bit lighter than this one. So it's a bit lighter like so. What I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna gradually go up lighter and lighter slowly as it goes on. What you can also do if you want to, it's up to you. I'm not forcing you or anything. You can mess around with your masking, make it thicker or thinner or whatever. But because this is part of writing the layer, I'm just gonna leave it like that. What I'm gonna do now is shift D it, size it up, and once again, guess what we're doing? We're minimize we're making our object oh damn. Making our object with the Z axis smaller. It's maybe a bit too wide. That's alright. Okay. So we've got a second texture, wanna select that? No, select it. I want to change that to a more like a, a very palish blue but that's too similar to that isn't it so I'm just gonna put that a bit darker towards that color it's more blue isn't it yeah right that's oh yeah sorry my bad I just realized because they're both one material they're both assigned to the same material There you go, right. Select that one. Uh, that's what sometimes happens when it's command. When you use command, shift D, it'll do that sometimes, which is kind of a pain. That's alright. We can deal with it. So if you see now, it's like a more of a win now as well. Threshold. Increase the threshold a bit more. Like so. What we can also do if we really want to is halfway through. We can change our thing to something else like clouds or something. Ooh, no. Like magic or noise or musgrove, grave, whatever. I'm actually going to change it to that. So basically it's just me messing around with a bunch of different textures until I get what I want. It's too thin. So it's basically all about personal preference, what you want it to be like, or whatever, okay? So this is basically the entire process. There's other bunch of other modifiers to try if you want to do it, but it's up to you. A good way to learn VFX better is just by exploring, because there's a lot of stuff to do in VFX. There's a lot of exploring to do, to make. I'm just going to rotate a bit, adds a little bit of fanciness to it. What you can also do is pull down this. Uh, you can also copy them. Uh, so you can duplicate uh, these. Uh, sorry for the name. These uh, simple deforms. And it just adds a bit more of a curve to it. Okay, so it makes it look more, more like wind a bit. Yeah, understand. So now I'm just gonna make that more wind. And now I'm gonna add more cloud to the top as well. Command C, Command V as usual. S, ooh, oopsies. S and that. S and Z. And now I'm gonna change this to a more darkish brown. No, more like a grey, bluish dark grey. See, it just adds a bit more detail to our VFX, or our star thing in general. I'm gonna just move it around a bit. Mess with this. 
Yeah, so it's basically just personal, personal preference. You can add a little bit of a swirl to the top or whatever, but that's just basically it for now. What you can do if you want to make a, if you want to make a little render with it or whatever, it's up to you. You can stick your camera in. Uh, use G, drag it around. Make sure you get your view that you want. Just, you know, basically VFX is just about messing with modifiers, personal preference. That's basically it. That's basically the entire uh, VFX, both in Roblox and just VFX in general. And there you go. That's our VFX. I'm just going to quickly turn to cycles. 200. 200. You don't have to do this. Uh, obviously, you could import it to a Roblox or whatever, but I'm just going to render it now with uh, F12. Uh, thanks to all the support so far in the beginning journey on starting this channel. Uh, as you can see, this is our result. Uh, it's more of a beginner VFX, but as I said, this is more of a beginner VFX tutorial right now. I will introduce more videos if you request. As usual, request anything you want in the comments and I'll make it. Anything at all. Alright. Uh, I hope this was helpful to anyone who wanted to start making VFX, as I know there's an out in there. Well, there's nothing in there in YouTube, and I hope this helps. Anyways, I would really appreciate it. It, it really helps the channel if you consider subscribing. I'm not forced yet. It just doesn't, it's just a click of a button. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. See you next time. Bye.